Okay, in Titus Tool Shop, we're just going to disassemble and assemble a tubing baler. And so, uh, what I'd rather do is just show you guys exactly what we end up doing here to disassemble a tubing baler and put it back together. So, we're just going to go ahead and have uh, Ryan break this first connection out. As you can see, how we've got it backed up. So, that's removing the top ball valve. Now, you can also see there there's a top ball valve. Uh, being removed right now off the top and there's a swedge and a collar on there as well Go ahead and back that first ball valve right out of there guys so Dwayne's going to take that first ball valve right out of there And that's the removal of the first ball valve. This is just like if it came in for servicing. The only difference is, as you'll see here, that the tubing baler right now is clo in the closed position. Most of our tubing balers a lot of times come in in the open position. Now Ryan's going to break that next connection off of there. That connection that Ryan's going to break there now is the Kelly rod coupling. That holds the Kelly rod and everything into the barrel of the tubing baler. Dwayne's going to take that out next. We've got a front shot here of the inside of that Kelly. You can see right now is Dwayne. You can see the hole down the middle of it. That is the Kelly rod right now and that's the inside of the Kelly rod where all the debris and everything comes up through. Now Dwayne will get that out and we'll pull the Kelly rod right out of the barrel which is our next step. So we're just going to loosen off the piston off the other end first, but normally that piston is already loose. So we'll go to the back of the end of the tubing baler, where Ryan is just breaking off that connection, which is right directly. The Kelly rod, or pardon me, the Kelly is inside of this barrel, but this particular connection we're loosening off right now is the bottom baler barrel connection. You can see Dwayne has got a, there's a ball valve connected to that. Just point to the ball valve, Dwayne. There's the ball valve, and right below that is a collar and a swedge. And this connection right at the very top of that ball valve, right there, pointed at it, Dwayne, is the Kelly rod, or pardon me, the, the tubing baler barrel connection. That threads in to the bottom of the barrel, and it also threads into your ball valve. So Dwayne's going to take that out. And that usually can stay together as one piece unless there's ever a time where there's thread damage. I'll bring that over here, Dwayne. We'll just show them the inside of the... Can't see it as, as good, but you can see fairly good inside that there, there's another ball valve. The ball valve is inside there. You can see the ball valve just dangling inside of there. That's the bottom ball valve all connected there together. So Ryan's going to take the T-wrench and put it in the bottom of there. This, this piston has always got to be tight, so you can see here that he's got a, a loosen that piston off. He's loosening the inside of that piston off with the T-wrench so that now it's going to be easier at the other end where Dwayne is down there to pull the Kelly rod right out. Go ahead and try that, Dwayne. There, so now Dwayne can pull that Kelly rod out. Now, just keep in mind here. As you can see, that's usually how most of the tubing balers come in, is on the out, out stroke position. So we'll just pull that out. We'll have a look there. Normally you can see there's your, there's your seals. Just go ahead and point to one of them, Ryan. We'll start at the bottom end of the... You can see right there that that's the piston. Ryan, point, put your finger on the piston, Ryan. Okay, now just point to the piston itself. There's the piston. You can see that... That one uh, seal, lip seal, point to the lip seal there. 
Now we'll go back further down and you can see the V packing and then you can see the other lip seal. Just pull that lip seal away from the other part of the packing, Ryan. The lip seal. Yeah. That one right there. The bottom one, you can see right here, is another lip seal. So there's what make up your piston packing that goes up and down inside your barrel of your tubing baler. Now I'll just pull that Kelly right off to the side for a sec, guys. And I'll just have a look down this barrel. And you can see there's the inside of a tubing baler. All that's left is the barrel that's sitting in the vise right now. That's all that's left. Okay, so now we've got it all apart. We'll just go ahead and we'll wash all the ball checks and everything up. And you can see here that the ball checks are sitting here uh, all washed up, ready to go. There's the spade bit. You can see that one's a sawtooth, but the ones that we've sent you, you can see on the top is a spade that also goes inside of there. And that's the type you've got. Now you can see, Dwayne, just go ahead and point to the spade bit itself. The spade bit and then the ball valve, and then the nipple, and then the collar. That makes up a complete assembly. Right next to it is a three and a half tubing drain. That is used to uh, make sure that when you're coming back out of the hole that all the fluid above that tubing drain goes back into your well bore. Now we'll do a quick test here on these ball valves. So we've, just, we've already cleaned everything up. Dwayne's just going to take a garden hose or some water. And he's going to do a test here on the, on the, uh, just going to take the garden hose and bring that over here and fill up these ball valves or one of these ball valves just to give you an idea of what we're doing here. So now all we're doing is we're just putting the ball valve straight up and down. And you can see inside of there somewhat. Yeah, I grabbed the flashlight for a sec. And all we're doing here is just making sure that the ball valves at all times are at least holding water. Go ahead and stick it inside there, right? Oh, down in there. Now you can... You can see the ball valve inside of there, seated nicely. All we're going to do now is just turn around and go ahead and uh, fill these up with water. And it's just to show that the water will hold in them. And that's the test we use. And we also do a visual inspection to make sure there's no debris or anything in there that could cause the ball and seat not to seat every time it's pumping down the well to bring the sand out. We're just going to go ahead and fill one of those up with water. You can actually hear it filling up. And there you go, you can see, you can already see that the water is holding in that ball valve. These are good to test. If that water was just coming out of there really, really quickly and everything, we'd know that we would have to take a closer look at these ball valves. Looks good, guys. Okay, so the ball valves are done. We've cleaned all the flappers out. Let's take uh, this flapper, guys, and show them the inside of the ball valve. That's a ball valve there? That's a flapper. Okay, do we have a ball valve around anywhere? So you can see the baler barrel is all back in the vise. It's all ready to go. 